Okay, what we're doing here is a test to see different types of flotation and thermal protection and how it relates to people sitting, in this case, in 36 degree water. And we actually have someone here who has regular clothing on with no PFD whatsoever. Uh, we have someone else over here with regular clothing and a PFD. We have uh, an extended wear dry suit that you might wear paddling or windsurfing. We also have uh, a long-term wear survival suit. We have an inflatable uh, PFD over there. And the first thing you'll note is that the six people who have flotation on are just sitting here, seeing how long that they can last. Whereas our person without a PFD is struggling pretty good. He's still breathing fairly strong. He start when he, as soon as he came in, he started with a cold shock response and he's still breathing fairly heavy. While in water, the participants had their core temperature monitored. They were allowed to exit the water if they felt too uncomfortable. It feels still warm where my PFD is at, but my arms and my legs, I cannot feel them right now. The participants were taken out of the water if their core temperature dropped more than two to three degrees Fahrenheit. The time is recorded when each participant left the water and they were then brought inside for further temperature monitoring and rewarming. When I first entered the water, you could feel the, it took a while to get my breath under control. And then it was just a matter of, you know, keep moving, staying above water until eventually you just felt your, your hands starting to go numb and arms, and then you could feel the pins and needles kind of hitting you. And then eventually you just kind of had nothing left. Lessons learned. Wear a lot more than a couple thin layers of clothes if you're going to be out there in, in uh, cold water. Yeah, I noticed they, they seem to be a little more calm than I was, and I, I was struggling pretty good, so that's definitely uh, the number one key. It's always have your life jacket with you and have it on. The inflatable life jacket. And I worked really hard to staying in the help position. I was amazed how effective that is. My arms are really cold. My chest is really cold. But my legs are fine, and then that kept my feet warm. My feet didn't get cold because, you know, I had some warmth on my legs. So I think it slowed it down, you know, and it allowed me to be more comfortable than the other guys. It, it really matters, you know, what kind of activity you're going to be doing and what kind of boat you're going to be on, of course. But of course, the life jacket with some thermal protection in this environment, you know, particularly this kind of cold environment, has got to be worth the money. You know, if you got to stay warm out there in the air, it might as well be something that'll keep you warm in the water, too. I couldn't feel my feet or my arms or my legs anymore. But you were floating, right? Yes. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, when they talk about the help position, people need to do the help position because that kept my heat in the longest. And it, it really works. So yeah, I couldn't feeling? feel anything when they took me out. I felt real heavy, like I had weights on me and I couldn't lift my arms or my legs and I couldn't, they had to help me. I, and I couldn't stop shivering. I had a dry suit on, and under the dry suit I had long pants and two shirts. So, and then I had a life jacket on. Well, I kept my hands out of the water. I refused to put them in the water at all. So my hands stayed decently warm, but like my toes got really cold, and then it like moved up my legs. And then like my legs just went numb and I didn't feel it anymore, but, but like my core and like the rest of my body was fine. My feet are cold, uh, my extremities, feet, hands. Uh, I started to, started to shiver a lot when I was in there. Uh, legs feel kind of weak, uh, but the help position helped keep the warmth towards my core, and uh, I did, did all right.
I was wearing an MSD 900. It's a dry suit with uh, insulation in it. It's not a uh, Coast Guard approved flotation device, the MSD 900, so I had a, uh, a Type 3 life jacket on with it. You, you're fully encapsulated from your feet, except your hands, and of course up to your, your neck and your head. But um, it worked really well. I was very impressed with it. This is the first time I've had to go in the water with it, and it kept me dry, and I didn't feel very cold. I could feel the cold water, but I didn't feel cold myself. I could see everybody suffering, and that didn't feel good, they, that they were getting cold, and um, and they were fighting it, so it's just, it's a survival. They were shivering, they were trying to hang on there as much as they can, and um, it, uh, it was interesting to see, and I hope that everyone realizes that going outside and, and boating or uh, being out in the water, that you also have to be prepared to go into the water and uh, be protected as well. This demonstration clearly showed the value of flotation and thermal protection. The person who had neither had to come out after 15 minutes in 36 degree water. His core temperature had dropped and he was nearly incapacitated and he certainly would not have survived long in those conditions. The people who had flotation but virtually no thermal protection had to come out after 22 to 28 minutes. Either their core temperature dropped considerably or they were too cold and uncomfortable to continue and they were becoming incapacitated. The people who had flotation and moderate thermal protection, such as a thin wetsuit or an extended wear dry suit with clothing underneath, lasted about 30 minutes. They felt cold, but they had very little drop in core temperature. The people who had thicker insulation like survival or immersion suits were doing fine. We took them out after 45 minutes, but they could have lasted much longer. Their core temperature was fine and they just basically walked out of the building. So it's important to remember, if you're on water in any kind of activity, you need to have flotation. And if your activities take you on cold water, you need to have thermal protection.